Time for a fish room update. September 2018. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you with a fish room update for September of 2017. Uh, I don't usually put my mug on the camera like this, but I wanted to uh, kind of speak to the camera and let everybody know that the website for Aquatic Support Systems is now live. It's AquaticSupportSystems.com. I want to thank everybody that's been patient with me, all my customers that have bought Southern Delight fish food and some additional products that I've been carrying recently um, through other means other than the website. Um, those of you that signed up on the website um, and you, you've received emailers um, that uh, are giving you a little bit of a special deal, so I appreciate that. I hope you guys use them. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that the website is up and live. I appreciate everybody who's uh, supported me with this endeavor. It's taken a long time, and I just wanted to get that out of the way before I started this uh, video for September. Um, sorry it's been since June since I've made a video, but that's because of the hard work I've been doing on the website. Um, my real job also being very busy and then just enjoying the summer. So. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. I'm just going to roll through all the tanks. I'm not going to separate shrimp and marine and freshwater this time. I'll just do a full fish room update. Stay tuned. I also wanted to give a special gift to all my subscribers. Um, if you go over to the website now through September 23rd, you can take an additional 20% off kind of as our grand opening celebration. Just use the discount code pictured here and uh, you can take 20% off your order. Also, before I get started on the video, I just wanted to give a few shout-outs here. Um, had some visitors in the fish room this past weekend. Um, Corey from Aquarium Co-op was in town. Uh, he spoke at our local uh, fish club, the Minnesota Aquarium Society, and he brought with uh, Joel and uh, Jimmy, um, and uh, they all came over and took, uh, took a look at my fish room, checked things out, did some videotaping, and took some photos. Um, King Lee, a local guy, um, was also with them, and then Dan Rowe, my buddy from uh, the Minnesota Aquarium Society, was also with. Um, so go check out their YouTube channels. Um, you probably all know Corey, Aquarium Co-op, his channel. Um, Joel's channel is Corvus Oskin. Um, Jimmy's channel is Schwiski, and King Lee's channel is Twin City Guppies. I will link them all below, but uh, they all have great content, and they all deserve... Uh, deserve a subscription from you um, so um, go check them out thanks all right so we'll start off this tour with uh, Cheeto and his girlfriend they are still doing good they have not bred at all this summer but they're doing good um, very active and it's fun to have them up here in the office to uh, watch and hang out with while I'm you know, going through my work day, so they're doing great. Over here is the uh, planted tank, 90 gallon. Recently took out the entire Monte Carlo carpet because I'm battling some BBA. There was just too much of it to deal with, so I took out the carpet and then I'm using hydrogen peroxide to get rid of what's left of it on the rocks. The uh, aerial Vietnam's doing good and the uh, Visitance Fontanus is also doing real good, but you know, I've added some flow to the tank too. Hopefully that'll help correct the problem, but I've got cherry shrimp and um, cardinal tetras in this tank. Down below here is the blue bolt tank that I just moved some stuff around, so it's uh, a little cloudy. I upset the substrate a little bit, so I apologize for that. They're doing okay, blue bolt shrimp, Taiwan bees. No breeding, but uh, no deaths. Actually, there has been a little bit of breeding. I've seen a few babies here and there. There's, there's a young juvie right there, so there's a little bit going on. Um, crayfish tank right here. These are dwarf crays. There's one of them right there. You don't see a lot going on, but there's another one. A couple of them. I haven't seen any breeding with them either. And then the red bolt tank down here. These are 
They're also Taiwan bee shrimp. Not much breeding going on in this one yet either, but uh, the shrimp are healthy and uh, haven't had any die-offs or anything like that. So these are the wine red. If I said something else, red bolt or something like that earlier, I apologize. All right, so switching gears, we will talk about the two reef tanks. This is the 125 gallon. Things are really good at this point in it now. I went through some major struggles this summer. I don't even remember if in my last video I shared, but um, came down with a case of marine velvet. Lost everything except the purple tang, the yellow wrasse, and the six line wrasse, wherever he is, there it is. And my watchman, Goby, who's usually hanging out over here somewhere. There he is. Um, let everything work its course and uh, three months later I've started adding a few fish. First one I picked up was this yellow tang. It was basically a rescue. A guy was giving it away because it was getting beat up from our local fish club so I picked that up. And then more recently I picked up this hippo tang, melanaris wrasse, uh, a naso tang he's hiding, and um, a diamond goby. There's the naso back there. Naso, naso. I never know which is right. Oh, and the copper band butterfly over there too. Corals are all doing real good. Um, I basically stopped adding any corals once I got the marine velvet. Corals aren't affected by marine velvet, but just didn't do anything with the tank as it sat, worked its course. And it's true what they say when you just leave a tank alone and let it do its thing things really really start to take off like this hammer coral right here is just you know grown out of hand not out of hand but it's really grown the nems are doing good the, the smaller of the two decided he wanted to put up its home on the side of the glass right next to the gyre so and that's where he's been now for at least a month um, when I picked up this yellow tang I picked up a few corals the guy gave to me for free too this I, I never even know what this one is not sure if I'm digging it it doesn't add much color but um, we'll see and then this leather here and then there is a sponge that just hasn't done much it's a blue sponge oh I also picked up this uh, red starfish and uh, a sand sifting star check out these mushrooms that are just doing really good here you know as I'm filming this I just realized I forgot to put on the, the amber filter so getting really blued out video here but that's the way it's gonna have to be I apologize um, coming over here to the uh, bio cube things are doing good here I had some setbacks in this tank as well I didn't realize that um, the calcium wasn't dosing because the tube got clogged up on my auto um, doser so calcium numbers were way off and things started dying you can see this huge torch I used to have with all these dead heads on it I've left the heads now. What was left, what survived, is just starting to come back. It had completely closed up, but I just let it sit. Within the last few weeks, it's starting to come out, and you see a little bit more every few days, the tentacles. Um, so I'm hoping it makes a full recovery. This hammer above it's done really well. The NEMS have started opening back up. You can see one up here, two of them right there. Um, so that's, that's good news. Um, this leather on the top has just gone berserk. Um, that uh, frog spawn or hammer, I forget what it is right there, is doing decent. And the, uh, the Monty back there is really, really looking nice. Too bad it's in back and being hidden, but it's tabling and just looking great. Um, no new additions for fish in here, I don't think, since my last video. There's my goby and pistols down in there behind him somewhere. Um, yeah, that's really about it for this one. All right, so we've headed down to the basement and we'll start off with Colossus here. This is the King Confa 9.9. Um, he's doing great, um, looking real well as always. Um, he's in there alone now. The Pleco that was in there ended up dying. I think of old age. It didn't look like there was any aggression or anything. I'd had that Pleco for quite a while. So now you can see the algae starting to build up on the back of the tank, which looks kind of cool. A lot of people like that look too. Um, I will uh, eventually put a pleco or something else in here, but for now he's just doing real well by himself. Look at those markings. 
Just unbelievable. Down below, the Midas pair. They had a setback. Um, he beat her pretty good. You can still see the fins are a little nipped up. I divided them for quite a while and just recently took the divider out and they're already showing spawning behavior. They're hanging out in this pot a lot. There's a fry that I didn't pull from a long time ago. Now it's about four inches. <laughs> so another, another Midas grow out there. But yeah, these guys are looking great. The uh, red magma flower horn up here is doing real good. Um, something I'm pretty excited about down here, the uh, Motas from Sean Hyden. If you remember a while back, I got this new female that's sticking her head out of that pot. Sorry about the glass. It's uh, I got to get some vinegar. Those are permanent water drip stains. But these two have really kind of shown pairing up signs lately. You can see there's been a ton of digging going on. They hang out in this pot a lot. It's not very common that they're actually apart like they are right now. They've been hanging out together quite a bit. So I had almost all but given up, but you got to learn patience in this hobby. And being as I've been so busy this whole summer, I just didn't do anything with them. And that's probably been a blessing because I think at some point here they'll end up spawning. So real happy about that. <clears throat> The Feste pair, um, no breeding going on with them, but they're looking real nice and it's been a real joy to have these guys in the fish room. There's the big male there and the female behind them. I got uh, six or eight silver dollar red hooks in here. When she's colored up to her full potential, she's just amazing looking. She hit the top the other day. You can see a little bit of damage to the top of her head there, but she'll recover from that no problem. So doing real good. The Trimax here, a couple big males, some smaller ones, there's a few females in there. No pairing up at all. At one point several months ago, one of the females and males had paired up and I thought they were actually going to lay eggs, but they never did. So we'll just continue to be patient and wait. I think I lost one to aggression. Added two more that uh, someone local sold me, and they were one of them was killed instantly, almost overnight. And the other one, I think, is still in here, but she it's a female, she hides all the time. I, I, I barely ever see her. Um, the Cadiensis are doing phenomenal, they haven't bred in quite a while, but they've got fry in this tank, and I'm also growing out some fry. Uh, fry are getting close to being able to be sizable or the size to ship. So if you're interested in Haiti Ansys Fry, let me know in about a month and I can uh, get you hooked up. This pair is just really, really blown me away though. I've been really happy with them. Then up above, we've got the uh, Redis Latest. She's hanging out in her tube. He's right there, ready to eat like always. Looking real well. No, uh, no breeding or spawning off of them. But they don't do regular spawns. They do every several months, and then I'll pull the fry, grow them out, sell them, and sold off the last of them a couple months ago. So we'll maybe turn up the heat in this tank. That usually gets them to spawn too. Magnus and Beast, the Umby pair are doing good, as good as they can. You know, they're just getting old, and Beast gets picked on a lot by him, so she's a little worse for wear, but she's got her hiding spots, and you know, she's had this eye injury since before I got her, but overall, he's still quite the king, quite the beast, even though that's Beast. Magnus, though, he is one heck of a fish that's for sure real fun to have around very uh, personable still and uh, just a great great fish huge um, the other umbi pair are doing well as well there is Optimus boy and Matrix um, I'm, I'm growing out some fry from them right now they're probably ready to spawn again 
fairly soon. They're doing good. This has become the oddball tank. I've got a silver arowana now that I rescued. Local guy um, just wanted to give it away. It's, I would say, 16, 17, 18 inches. It's got drop-by, but that's fine. I got it for free and it's fun to have. Got my loaches in here. I got a male Moda that's just turning out to be a stud. And then I've got this female Midas who, if you look closely, she's sitting on eggs in there. I don't know if she laid them herself or if something. I don't even know if it's possible for her if she spawned with that uh, that uh, Moda, male Moda. I don't know if that could happen or not. But anyway, she's doing good. I may have to put her in with Cheeto since she's ready, willing, and able. <laughs> um, I'm be fry up here. I won't spend a lot of time. These fry tanks, I got plecos in them also, so they're real dirty. I just, I literally vacuumed this bottom of this tank out yesterday. So, um, here's the Hadiensis fry. They're in there with some plecos too, so it's kind of dirty. They're sawing on that wood. I've got some Midas fry from Cheeto's brother, not Cheeto. They're probably about ready to ship. Um, they're getting close to an inch. Got some Trimac fry that I got when I picked up those Trimax I showed you before. They're getting close, and then this tank is empty other than some Plecos. Down below, we've got the uh, Moda Grow Out tank. They're all hiding right now, which is fairly common. There's one in there that seems to be terrorizing the rest of them. I uh, pulled one out just last week that actually died from aggression. But yeah, um, that's what I can tell you. We'll go ahead and take a look at the shrimp now. I'll start off with the uh, Super Crystal Red tank. They're doing good. There's just not been a lot of breeding. I can see one baby in the shot right now, and there's uh, at least one buried female in here. Maybe more. So maybe some things to come on these, but there's one of the babies right there. Just haven't had real good luck with these. Um, so far, um, as far as reproducing, um, no deaths or anything really, but you know, that's what I got going on there. The mixed Thai, Taiwan B tank is doing real well down below. Seems to be throwing off more blue bolts than anything else, but it's nice to see a Taiwan B tank, uh, you know, really thriving. And you can see there's tons of them in there, tons of babies. Just uh, really doing well. Um, over here, the uh, the OG Crystal Red tank. Um, this uh, colony has just been going for I want to say like four years, maybe now, and it just continues to reproduce and things are going well. A lot of babies in there and stuff like that. The uh, Black Pinto tank next door. I know I say this in just about every video, but I need to do some culling here. There's a bunch of uh, Michelin spotted heads in here. You can kind of see them. You know, there's been breeding in here. Um, some back through there, too. It's kind of overrun with plants right now, but I haven't been doing much plant trimming because I've got an event coming up here this weekend, actually locally where um, I'll, uh, I'll trim up all the plants and bring them to the event uh, and have them available. Actually, it's a pretty pretty big deal. Um, our local Minnesota Planet Tank Aquarium group has got Chris Lukop, the Shrimp King, coming in from Germany and he's going to be speaking and uh, have a chance to meet him, so that should be really cool. So if any of you guys are from Minnesota or nearby, um, this Saturday, what would it be, the 15th, I believe, of September, or 14th, one of the two, um, he'll be in Minnesota. Look up Minnesota Planet Aquariums, Minnesota Planet Tank Aquariums on Facebook for more details. PRL Tank, doing real well. A lot of recent breeding going on there. You can see quite a few babies in there. Any of these uh, crystal reds that I showed you, these are uh, higher grade crystal reds, um, or the PRLs, or the blue bolts, 
are available for sale if you're looking um, my email will be below these blue dreams here I've also got some available they're doing good um, as I say quite often this is the savage red tank and I need to do some calling throughout there to get this line back on track the dwarf craze are doing okay nothing spectacular as far as coloration or anything but there have been some uh, babies spotted in here I can't can't see any right now but um, I did see a couple of babies so that's cool um, red pintos are really doing good lately um, had quite a bit of breeding going on so this colony should start to really grow um, I let I don't have any of these available for sale really at this point I did let five of them go this weekend um, some of the guys uh, from aquarium co-op and or related to aquarium co-op I don't know how you want to say it came into our local fish club and spoke Corey spoke and then Corvus or Joel and Schwiski Jimmy they all came over to my fish room as they were here and took a look around and I, I uh, sent um, Joel home with uh, five of these Pintos so hopefully he can get them breeding out on the west coast. He said that there isn't a ton of those out there up in his area so um, that'd be cool to see. Um, the white slash golden bees are doing fairly well. There's there's a few babies around. They had kind of stagnated for a while, but um, now things are seem, seemingly doing well. Um, Bloody Marys, there's been some breeding. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing this colony grow. Crystal Blacks are still doing great. I've got these available for sale if anyone's looking. Again, shoot me an email. My email will be in the description below. The Thai, mixed Thai B tank is doing good too. All sorts of different colors and patterns here. We've got these available. And then the uh, white, white goldens are also available if anyone's interested in those. Well, that's gonna wrap up this month's fish room tour. Sorry it was so long, but with the time lately I've had lacking, um, I figured I'd just do all my tanks in one shot. So we'll send it off here by looking at the bee nut. Or the bee nut. <laughs> Boy, I'm, uh, I'm losing it. The Hadeansis pair. And once again, like I said at the beginning, the website is now live. There's also a 20% off discount code that I'll post somewhere in this video, maybe a couple of places that's good for the next couple of weeks. 25% or 20% off anything in the uh, Aquatic Support Systems website. Go in there and check it out. We sell Southern Delight fish food, uh, several different shrimp foods, including Shrimp King, MK Breed, Low Keys. We sell Fluval Bug Bites. We sell Moss, Ledges, uh, Chala Wood, Choya Wood, however you pronounce it. Thrive, liquid fertilizers, all that kind of good stuff. So check it out. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you uh, subscribe, um, like this video, share it. Spread the word about the Aquatic Support Systems website going live because uh, a little bit goes a long way. Thanks a lot.